This video looks at rearranging to make x the subject, but at the end we require to factorise to solve. Now the first example shows this quite nicely. There's an ax plus a bx. So there's a common factor of x in both the first two terms. So I can write it as x bracket a plus b equals c. So I've factorised. I then divide by the coefficient. So I divide by a plus b. So x just equals c over a plus b. I don't require the brackets in the final answer. Now in the second example, we need to do a few steps first. So first of all, there's the x here and the x over there. I'll begin by expanding that to make the whole thing a bit simpler. So ax plus ab plus c equals dx. Now, I want to get the x's to the same side, so just stop for a moment. I could put those terms over there and that term over here, but that's really rather long. If I rewrite this as dx equals ax plus ab plus c, if I now just take away ax, that will cancel off. I'm left with dx take ax equals ab plus c. So the x terms are now on the left hand side. I can now factorise because it's a factor of x on the left hand side. So x bracket d minus a equals ab plus c. I then divide by the factor so d minus a. So x equals ab plus c over d minus a. So the third example, a fraction. Now I begin by putting brackets under the fraction and then times up by the denominator. So x equals d bracket x plus p. Expand x equals dx plus dp. And then subtract the dx. So x take dx equals dp. And then factorise. So I pull a factor of x out. Now be careful, there's one x here, so one take away the d equals dp. I then divide by the factor. So x equals dp over 1 minus d.